We're here to ramp up the day, people. People, bring in the day. Creating change, 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 change. Get used to that word because that's where we are. That's where we're going every day. Change. We're bringing in some high vibes, you know, high vibes, people, high vibes. Talking about change today. Why? There's a lot of experiences that we keep moving over and over and over again. And we really want to get that catalyst of all that we are, all that we are in creation, and create something new. And that can only come from within. Can only come from within, human spirit, all within. <laughs> I had a webinar this morning. I'm really psyched. I'm excited. I'm going. Got my 5D, 5D embodiment on. We're going to do a really short, it's not going to be as long as it was the other day because we just went on really long about those channels. The catalyst of change that is one catalyst of many that go on moment for moment for moment for moment for moment. Change is awesome. Change is amazing. Change is the embodiment of who you are becoming, the harmonization of who you are becoming, the omnipresent energies that are all things unseen. Spirit, God, source creator, the one creator of the all, galaxies, universes, universes of universes, everywhere spirit is spirit is spirit is spirit is there is nowhere that spirit is not spirit is the omnipresent in which that you are the catalyst to anything that you want to harmonize with and you want to start manifesting and you want to start co-creating in the highest impurity of attention that you are for remember always in any moment in any moment when you are aligned when you are present when you are heart centered you're calling in those beings that you want to work with of the highest light, your healing teams, your, your higher self and your soul. You're calling in those energies that assist you in smoothing out, clearing out the pockets of density, you know, bathing and um, honing in light vibrations and sounds and codes that can assist you in the movement of any energies that need to be unstuck. <laughs> What we're moving from is this upside down experience where we've been stuck in mental programs that have been very dense and very hard to release ourselves from because it's been a mental program. Mental programs continue to run on same thought patterns, same routines, same habits, same, 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 same. And they seem as if they're impossible to break from. This whole inside out, upside down is to shake it all up and begin returning all that we are from within. That's the catalyst. Bring all that you are as consciousness back into center and create that catalyst for something new get on that that wheel and create that 5d experience which is always 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 aligned with joy love magnification of who you are as pure adoration just to be you how can you adore who you are how can you love who you are how can you catalyze the new experience of you body mind heart spirit soul omni 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 that you are to create new we are allowing ourselves to really step through the gates, really get excited about who we are in this pivotal lifetime, among all lifetimes, where we are bathed with the most exciting, profound, prominent, vibrational, expansive energies ever, ever from human form, because the collective consciousness is awakening. And in that awakening, the universe on this timeline, most often, this timeline, you there's infinite timelines you can align to but we're saying in this moment right now as all of us sit and watch this video and ponder this video and get excited to understand who we are what we are becoming and what we really exist within right now upon all of creation now is the moment we catalyze new now is the moment we say 3d is done we're open to new now we catalyze the experience say yes those are wonderful lessons i let it go i want to be new i want to be new i want to be new 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 that new experience is body mind heart spirit and soul that you catalyze within your divine sacred heart to create that environment the environment what goes in the environment how the environment honors you how the environment um, is that lush bedding for you how that environment honors and nourishes and activates creative endeavor creative expansiveness creative nourishment creative joy and simulation to new higher vibrational platforms and you're the catalyst of it it must be and always will be do not wait for anything outside of you to come and say hey there's a portal opening up come and walk through it you have to be the one that says okay spirit i'm tired of the same routines i can't do it anymore it feels like an ongoing stuck cycle where nothing changes and the continuation of same reverberational energies keep coming back to play the same games and the same stories of of sameness 
whether it's a work experience, whether it's your health experience, you're waking up in the same vibration of, oh, here we go again, or not feeling the excitement and the joy of who you are. If you're not waking up feeling happy to be you, you know that you're ready for change. And that portal is going to be there when you choose it to be. When you say, I am ready in the same alignment, I am ready in the same measure, I am ready to create something really great for me, because I get to. And I've always said in all of our videos, in all of our books, if not for the only reason of in the same measure that spirit has placed you stitch by stitch by stitch in your soul's blueprint, in your DNA, and every fiber of your beingness that is you, for the love and the adoration of you. Every stitch, stitch by stitch, and how you were created through the blueprint, through the DNA, through all of your potentiation and your harmonization of mother and father energies. Every moment you are able to receive. Every moment you're able to place intentions and love and honor in an aligned chakra system, in an aligned Christ consciousness system. Christ consciousness is our universality, our multi-dimensional multi presence in the omnipresence. We get to feel and sense now because our 5D gifts are coming on. We get to unpack those gifts and we get to work with them in different ways. We're meant to absolutely create something unlike we've ever created from 3D. We simply can't be 3D in a 5D box. There might be moments of familiarity, right? You're creating your environment. You're creating your world. You're creating everything around you every new moment, every new moment, every new moment. So what do you want to see? How do you want to feel? What do you want to see your world co-create within? There are timelines, time lags, yes. But without you catalyzing anything, you and God at the center of it all, nothing's going to change. You'll have that ongoing, just taking in that light in, in that slow, you know, vibratory process. But the more that you are engaged, invested, and directing your energy in old systems, the more that it will feel stagnant. And as if you can't stand anymore, you absolutely must get out. You must be out, right? Coming out of the closet every day, coming out of the closet every hour. Can't be who I used to be. Can't do it. If it's not aligned in truth, if it's not aligned in joy and creativity, it's got to be, it's got to be shaken up, flip it upside down, turn it inside out, whatever has to be done, shake it up, create change. Change is the evolution that you at the center of your beingness deep within your soul is saying, come on, get dancing. You're not meant to sit there and be sad. Sadness is an emotion and a feeling that you're absolutely moving through those releases and you're feeling a part of the collective when something happens and you're sad and you're wanting to feel that compassion and empathy. Yes, but not on an ongoing steady basis. You're not meant to always feel sad. You're meant to allow the emotion to flow and move. You realign, you redirect, and then you create new. You get to create, you get to change and shift your reality. You are the catalyst. You are the center. You and spirit, the purity of intention, then create. And so the DNA, as we said um, in the, the channeling offerings, your DNA is con <clears throat> connected with all times and all worlds that you're connected with. Your teams, your higher self, your connection with your higher self, how intimate you are and connecting in that way. Okay, what, if, what am I threaded with today, Spirit? How can I really expand and explore myself today? How can I use my, my daily self-care time to find out, you know, how am I going to nourish my body in a 5D way? What does that look like to me? What does it feel like? And then sit and receive. How can I be in more joy today? How can I create more happiness today for my mental body? How does that look? Mental body is really going to go through a total reworking. As often as you can, drop the mental body to the heart and use that heart intuitive divine feminine energy as often as possible. That's the only way you're going to start stepping out of the mental programs that are highly routine and highly stagnant and keep the cells depressed out of light. So it's really important to, to um, release any suppressions that you have about your creativity, about your art history, about your, um, about your drive to just be happy and, and joyful. You are meant and releasing all belief prog programs, all stories, anything within your beingness that says that life is meant to be boring and stagnant and of a routine of only one thing. So that you only feel one way. So that you only contribute in this way. Those are absolute limitations and you know that you are a multidimensional being of high vibrational experiences that are encoded within your DNA that you get to choose to tap into and call forward through your kosh, through your sacred ancestry, through the communion of all that you are with spirit that is always with you. Spirit's always with you. The aspects of you that you've been harmonizing, those soul fragments that you're calling forward to harmonize in your every now for now moment, that you're showing that no, the past is no longer okay with me. It's a part and it's a beautiful story. It's part of my wisdom. I've honored it and I've healed it. And I'm so happy that I've been on my journey. And you show honor and adoration for every step of the way. Show honor and adoration for every step of the way. You've got that. I'm honoring this story. Man, I had a great story. 
I just lived a really great life. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now. I love my husband. I love myself. I kind of love where I am. I love who I am. Look at my body. My body's healthy. It's carrying me through this life. Feel into the vessel that is pure perfection of you for you. Let God and light and source and spirit creator live through you. Every breath intend the engagement with spirit. Spirit is living through me. My body's becoming more healthy. And therefore, thus then, when you're moving about in your everyday minutia, because you're going to want to call those experiences forward to see how much you've changed in your shifting to a new frequency of you, a new vibration of you, a new exploration of you, you'll call in those little um, those little newsreels that say, oh, it's a, new, it's a new outbreak of this. It's a new outbreak of that, where there's, there's a temptation to go into fear and create the, the fear-mongering things that flip you right back into a lower vibrational routine. And you get to say, no, I'm done with that. That's not my reality. My reality is an absolute healthy body. My reality is I'm breathing every moment with source. My reality is my cells are beautiful. My cells are clean and clear. And you get to choose the catalytic moment through which every moment you're creating yourself on a new vibrational earth. You get to choose. You get to choose. Every moment, every moment, where is your intention going? Every moment, what is your vibrational feeling? And allow yourself to sit in that presence and honor it. Honor the presence of who you are. And there, you know, there might be someone who says, well, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? What does the presence of me really mean? Getting comfortable with yourself in every moment and saying, I'm beautiful and I'm, I'm sacred. I know who I am. I'm fed with spirit. Spirit and I are weaving us, are my story that's like no other story. And it's really special. It encapsulates all of my lifetimes. It allows me to be peaceful and in love with who I am right now, regardless of any outer story, regardless of any outer pressure, regardless of any outer intentions, nothing outside of you can change the owning and the honoring of who you are as spirit. And that is the challenge because we have been so saturated and patterned and programmed to mold and, and, and morph ourselves based on what the outside projecting to us. It's just what we were taught. There were programs of here's who you are, conform, and there you go. That's your life. <laughs> You'll retire when you're 65, you know, and you know, good luck on all this uh, saving your retirement money. And you know, just the, just the, the depressive state that we have been programmed. When you can write five things that is in your reality right now, write five things down physically, mentally, emotionally, and, and, and energetically, spiritually. When we say spiritually, it doesn't have any attachment to any religion because you doing this exercise will show you where the limitations are in the religions and the dogma that you've been connected with and attached to. That's okay. You're choosing to bring it forward and suss it out and change it. In those five and six areas of all that you are as spirit and source, write down any limitation that first comes to you that you choose to change. What is it that I can change today? What do I want to change about my physical limitation? Anything that I can come forward about my physical reality. And you might have just a comment that comes forward from your Akash that is in the honor or the worry that a family member is sick and it has been, um, it's been a hereditary experience that you too perhaps might have that genetic experience. So write that down. Face it. Okay, I'm facing this. Is this a truth that's really mine? Or is it just somebody that somebody just gives it to the door and says, here's your mail? This has been your genetic mail. You can choose to open it or not. No, I don't choose to open that mail. It's not mine. That's not my DNA encoding. And you might have professionals and doctors say, but you must get tested. It's in your genetics. It's your hereditary. You say, no, I can choose to change that. I have absolute control of my Akash, my lineage. I have absolute control of everything. So rewrite, rewrite what's coming up. Rewrite it, rewrite it. In that moment, rewrite it. What does it say about your dogma that your religion said if you're, if you're creating anything that is a negative experience for you, that you must, be, you must be in sin. You must be in depletion of what is all that is godly and all that is light. Rewrite it. What about dogma or spirituality is holding you in limitation or lack in that vibrational story that says there is nothing more than this? There absolutely is. Are you kidding? <laughs> Every breath there is a new reality, a new reality, new reality. New omnipresent, new earth, new earth, new earth. And it's speaking to you, it's singing to you. So get engaged, wake up. What is it that you want to feel? What is it that you want to create? What is it that you want to see in yourself and all others? How is the goodness and the goodwill of your heart saying, we got this. We're going to dance a new dance. We're going to sing a new song. And this is our new earth. Let's tap in. Let's tune in. And let's release every story that comes up physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically every day. Do the inner work. Because that inner work says, I am worthy, spirit. 
I'm showing you that I'm worthy. Every day I want to tune into how I feel. Every day I want to tune into how I really want to feel. Every day I said, I'm going to do the work and I'm going to create better affirmations. I'm going to create a daily affirmation that works for me right now. I want to change my mental patterns. I want to step outside of my comfort zone. I want to step outside of routine. And I'm going to absolutely change routine to be absolutely nothing more than just a joyful expression and creative flow of who I am. It doesn't have to be routine. Release the whole word, routine and habit. No more habits, no more routines. Every day is the flow of spirit. Every day is the flow of spirit. Every day is the flow of spirit. The flow. Are you in the flow? <clears throat> Most often than not, because everyone just surrenders to the mental programming of what's always been done. Those are the habitual recycling of energy and, and how energy works off one another. There's usually a catalyst in the group. You know, when you look back on your family, there's always a catalyst in the group, right? Always a catalyst that likes to do things different, that challenges everybody else, that brings in, you know, conflict every now and then by, by challenging discussions. That was me. Every time we'd have a little family get together, I would be bringing up the most contentious social issues. And I would be saying, let's talk about this. Where are we all at with this? And <laughs> bring it up, suss it out. And then you would have the, the others that are sorting their lives out by simply just, just, just ready and, be, and okay to conform. They just want to go with the flow. And that's okay. But you can choose to be on whatever, whatever cycle, whatever level you want. On your family dynamic, on your social dynamic, on your community dynamic. What part do you play? What part do you want to play? Are you tuned in? Are you in alignment? Are you honoring the male and the female energies where you actually do get to create? You actually do create in, in your own life? And women are seen as creators? Damn right we are. Who said we weren't? The rights of divine feminine, the rights of children have really only been recognized in the past 150 years. Well, how is that possible if we've been here for thousands, hundreds of thousands of years? And our recognition of who we are as divine feminine barely been recognized, barely in all of our existence, unless it's been suppressed or in underground temples of healing. And those of us that do come forward and do substantiate that, yes, I was a part of the initial healing divine feminine and the sisterhoods coming from the Pleiades. And I did land here in the very first communities of humanity. And I did teach and offer others the higher vibrational teachings and the wisdoms of the galaxies. And I'm here again. Here I am back again. And we have been a part of the creatorhood, all timelines, all lifetimes, all earths. And I'm here to say, hey, we're going to write new stories. Who's with me? It's your free will. Free will, yes or no. It's always there. But this is now where we get to stand up and we get to be a part of the quasi-physical. And the vibration is different. The vibration is, is, is honing into the excitement of who we are as creative beings that are always inspired by source and spirit. And bring those stories forward. Collect the stories of your lineage and pull out any story from your lineage and any story from your ancestry and start seeking into it. Start investigating. Start seeking into the, into the celebrations and their and their triumphs and bring it forward into everyday discussion to say, no, we're not going to let our ancestors fall by the wayside. We are the new experience of our rainbow tribe, 13th dimensional. We are going to bring the light home and we're bringing Gaia home with her. We're meant to be rebalancing our entire human experience. And it's profound. It's really profound. And as you can tell, my energy, I'm there, <laughs> right? The crucible of that change. Let's turn it on, people. <laughs> turn it on. You understand the, the, the energy and the light that we are each all working with. It's phenomenal. The potentiation that each of us have to release anything that feels dull and boring and routine and stagnant. Shake it up. Shake it up. Change your clothing. Change your food. Change your, um, change your, um, your habits in every way that you can. Do things backwards. Create the upside down, inside out as often as you can. When you're connecting and entangling with people, say the thing that you would never ever say. And it's from your heart. I'm so glad that I'm connecting with you. And I'm tired of the social conformity that says we must just always abide by the same boring conversation that just goes this way and this way and this way. We can choose to shake it up and be a bit more entangled and engaged in the emotional experience of who we are as co-creators. You can always choose boring. But we've done that for thousands of years and we've conformed to the fear and to the limitations, to the greeds and the controls and the agendas that keep us small. Or we can choose to be a bit more. We can choose to be a bit more outside the box. We can choose to be a bit more of who we are and speak our truth, regardless of who and what and others' experiences on the outside want of us and for us and to us. For it's only for us living in our truth that true change really happens. 
true change is really catalyzed because spirit is saying, I have given you and I have offered you the dynamic blessing of who you are within your DNA. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. Whatever world that you come from, whatever world, whatever realm, whatever galaxy, and I'm, and I'm telling you right now, you come from many galaxies that we don't even have names for that haven't even been discovered that are in your DNA. When spirit stitches you stitch by stitch and creates a story just for you, that vibrational patterned story that is so divine and the technicolor dream coat that you are, you have absolutely no undeniable way that you can deny, you can't deny it, of your magnificence and your ability to create anything, manifest anything, create a healthy body beyond what you ever thought was possible, become more youthful in your thought, your words, your deeds, your actions, your behavior, creating with new earth here. The energies are phenomenal. You are phenomenal. Everything within your DNA, beyond understanding, the studies that are being done on, on DNA are going to far exceed the most transformative experiences over the next five years because they will see how profound and how utterly, um, utterly expansive what they thought junk DNA was. It's not junk, it's God. How dare we? <laughs> how dare we? That is the catalyst to all new life on all realms, all worlds, and it's right inside of you. But we've never been taught this. So how are you able to create just a moment of a day, five minutes, three times a day, and just align with great change. Just align with, wow, my vibration of my happiness for me, the love of who I am, the honor of who I am, I'm matching God. God is so happy to see me happy that it affects everybody around me and I'm making these ripples throughout creation. I know I am. My light is known. One of the very first lines that my teams told me when I first awoke is that you are known by your light. From the farthest of the galaxies to the farthest of the planets to anybody in creation that understands vibration, you are known by your light. Do you smile? Do you feel loved? Do you feel honored? Do you feel capable? Do you feel successful? Do you feel adored? Do you feel belonging when you say your name? And why not? When you wake up in the morning, do you feel that way? And why not? You're meant to feel good. You're meant to feel good. If there is no other important thing that you do throughout your day is to constantly tune into how you feel and then rewire it and tune it to a feeling good. You're meant to feel good and you got to repattern yourself. You got to rework yourself. You got to rethink everything that you've been taught and told and anything that you've been projected, anything that you see on the outside world for it is just a resemblance of what was, but now is new. Now is new. Now is new. Repattern, repattern, repattern inside out, upside down. Take it for all it's worth. The most powerful energies are now. You can change just like that. And when you have those energy activations, whether it's in your field and you wake up just feeling different, you wake up just feeling, wow, I feel so new. I feel, thank you teams, thank you. Because you're doing those, um, those end of night um, experiences. At the end of the night, you're sitting with your body and you're loving your body and you're honoring your body. We're actually gonna do, um, we're gonna do a, a video. And I'm gonna show you what I do at night. You know, it'll be just a quick little one. So you can um, practice and do in your own way um, how you want to realign and get intimate with your story, get intimate with your Technicolor dream coat, get intimate with who you are with spirit, get intimate with your ability to create change any moment, any now, any now experience. You're able to create that change. And we want to inspire you. We want to help empower you. We want to help you align with the importance of your name, with the importance of your DNA, with the importance of who you are within and without. And there's infinite teams and infinite beings, as we said yesterday. You will always have the equal measure and the providence of those councils and those beings that are ready to help you to create that change and that catalyst. And, and allow yourself to be absolutely reverent. And we say reverence with great pause because all of you that have been following me since our KCOR days, reverence and gratitude and honor for who you are, make no mistake about it is the same level of reverence through which God stitched you stitch by stitch. The color of you, the story of you, the prominence of you, the profundity of you, the magicianship of you, the mastery of you. So make no mistake that as you walk about your day and you breathe, you would absolutely want your world filled with truth. You wouldn't want to deviate from the magicianship of who you are. Why would you? You want the world to see you in full honor truth. That's when your reality starts changing. When you're absolutely in your fullness of absolute truth and you, you release what you said before because that's just how you always did it before and it just it was the social conformity and, and that's just what people like. You know, the social conformity. You know, if you're outside the norm and if you're speaking of anything that sounds, you know, you know too ridiculous or too out there, no, be it. Be ridiculous. That gets you out of that routine. 
and you're not going to feel stuck in your body and your cells aren't going to feel dark and heavy. And again, you have to be okay with being the one that wants to step out and be the catalyst because everybody around you will feel that light, will feel that change and they will see your transformation. And then they get to choose in their own free will. Maybe there is another way. Maybe there's another way where I'm absolutely in such a high vibration. I will never catch an illness or a disease. I will never get sick. Never get sick. I haven't been sick in so long. Can't remember the last time I was sick. It's all about vibration. I had um, always grown up, grown up, and I was every year, um, I would have, you know, issues every year, and I was on puffers and inhalers. I never get sick anymore, and I don't use inhalers. It's just the vibration that you, in your alignment with the omnipresent, the omni is all the unseen, and you're the only one that has to know and believe it. It's not about seeing it first. You're going to be waiting forever if you want to see change happen and you're not doing anything about it. You got to be the one that says, no, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm the one right now, right now. I'm the catalyst for change all throughout creation. You will feel your ripple because you are known by your light. You are known by your vibrational name. You're known, make no mistake about it. When the council says you are known by your name, we have precision on you. We have precision with you. If there is anything that you may want or need, it will always be of relevance. Of course you can't say, well, I want to, um, you know, what are those things called? <laughs> I want to, um, what are they called? Um, Red Bartetta and those fancy wancy cars. You know, all of those. Well, it might not be relevant for you to have that, but what might be relevant is to just soak within and start understanding and caring and knowing and feeling your way up into self-love and radical self-acceptance. And why do you, why would you want to care what, what your truth is to any others? Because everybody is in a state of unawareness. So why judge yourself and why compare yourself and why create that value system and that belonging system to a world that is not yet awake, not yet aware of who they are within with the spirit, as spirit, for spirit, through spirit, creating a spirit. Would you rather create through ego or spirit? These are important things to align yourself with every day. Take that time. Am I aligning with my highest vibrational potential as spirit? Can I create something really magnificent? Can I create something really profound? Can I create something really out of this world and out of my box and really step outside and say, I'm doing this today. This is who I am. And we're going to start rewriting what roles and definitions are. Because I'm not okay with being, you know, creating in those roles and those subjugations that say women are not divine creators. We absolutely are. We are part of the creator gods. How can we not be? How can mother God not be a part of creation? I hear the voice of mother God. Mother God is real. <laughs> There is divine mother God and many of the beautiful women. There's not many there are, but they're just not written about. There are many divine women that have come forward to represent the divine mother, mother Mary being the most, one of the profound ones, Mary Magdalene. These energies were the representation of the divine mother God. And we're absolute creators. You cannot create without her. <laughs> you cannot manifest anything without mother God. If you're not manifesting and you're stagnant in manifestations, it's because you need to allow yourself the intimacy and the honoring and the rebalancing of the divine feminine within you. Are you comfortable with receiving in honor? What is your level of honor and self-love for you? When a mother gives birth to her child, make no mistake about it, it's the most important, magnificent experience of her whole entire life. We carry our children with great pride and with great care. We watch what we eat. We care about what we put in our bodies. We care about where we, how we lie. Everything. Our world is transformed by this magnificent level of birth within us. We need to take that same ownership. And so they're showing me, and when we, and when we have our children, we, we put so much time and attention and so much love and care. And then when they come into the world and they start growing up and creating their own new, um, you know, their own new personalities and their own new perspectives, we tend to create that separation because it's just what conformity is. And they go off and they do their things and um, there's, that, there's that separation where that level of care and that level of intimacy tends to slip away. And we want to bring that back. I always have that intimacy of divine preciousness and care. Are you speaking in preciousness of you? Can you? Can you speak in preciousness of your body when you look at yourself in the mirror every morning and say, I'm so beautiful. God loves me. Spirit loves me. I'm going to create a really great day today. I'm the one that's creating my reality. I create it all. And I'm going to start creating with divine love. I got this. 
and the councils and the teams and all of creation is with me. There's not one part of creation that's not feeling my vibration right now because I'm, I'm intending it. I am here to create. I'm a magnificent creator. I want you to step in. I want you to step in. I want you to step beyond the boundaries. I want you to step into the portal of you, co-creating you. You're the one that's creating that portal. And you say, okay, God, I want to create a portal today. I want to create something really profound and magical. Help me out. Show me where to go. Show me how to navigate something really great today. Well, you're more intimate with yourself. You're more valuing of yourself. You're more valuing of all those around you. And you start leaning into that heart space. And you start feeling into the unpacking of you. Constant unpacking. Vibrational unpacking. There you are. Because you've been truthful with yourself. You've been honest with yourself. And you've been authentic with yourself. And allowing all others their honesty and their truthfulness and their path too. You're only here and responsible for you. That's it. The joy of you, the health of you, the honoring of you, the wellness of you is all you. All you. Don't wait for someone to come along and say, okay, everything's changed now. Here you go. And they're opening the door. No, you got to create it. There are so many gifts within you. Use the Technicolor Dream Coat to all of your advantage. Call in the teams, call in the healers, call in whatever it is that you need to align with all of that greatness and that juice that is you. It's you. It's you with God in all realms, all dimensions, all times. Bring that forward. Start creating. I said in my video this morning, it was kind of like this awakening aha moment. You know, we were creating this beautiful vortex and we were saying, well, like, really, the, 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 the bubbling of the energy really just was this profound aha moment. Like, we are literally, as we create these cohesive groups and we connect like this every day and you're, you're valuing your energy and you're saying, no, I'm, I, I'm a part of this cohesion of new earth and I'm going to create, I'm going to raise my vibration. It's my intention. I'm going to do this. I want a healthy body. I want a great life. I should have luxury in all ways. Why not? I'm going to give myself this permission. You create this, this undeniable momentum and this vortex say the universe agrees with you. When you're, when you're, when you're in this for you, because you love yourself so much. So when you honor yourself so much so that you want to feel and hear your name so much so in a different way that has never been said and felt before by you, because it's always about you. Then you have that commitment, that devotion to say, no, I'm going to feel different from this moment forward and I'm going to activate every cell. I am in alignment. My cells are in alignment. My brain, my body, my organs, everything is in alignment. I am here with you, spirit. Every cell is turned on and my profound intention is now. You know equally that you will be matched in creation. And the universe showed us like, wow, those energies are matching you. And that is the reverberation of change. We have never had the acceleration, the amplification, the enhancement of the energies that we do right now. And why would we not want to use it? Why would we not want to create from the blessingness of this? Create in the joy of this. Create healthy bodies. Create higher thought patterns so that you're getting yourself unstuck of stagnant situations that just hold you in a holding pattern of limitation and fear. Where nothing changes. Nothing gets better. It just stays the same. And you're constantly having to fight fires, constantly having to see yourself out of, you know, tangles and messes, because that's what the mental body does. It just continues to create, it doesn't know how else to do it. It's a, like a little molecule that doesn't come out of its box until a catalyst goes in and says, hey, there is a new way. And then you have to choose through free will to get out and say, I'm going to start something new. And I want to change up these dysfunctional programs, change up these dysfunctional patterns, change up all these limitations of fear and negativity and density and toxicity. You get to choose that. If it's not in love and in light and in honor of who you are, is it serving you? And why would you stay? Why would you stay in something that allows you to feel upset and low and depressed and sad and icky about yourself? That's not how it's meant to be. That's not how it's meant to be. We are here to say, no, we're going to create an earth that reverberates love and kindness and oneness and balance in all ways. Cause our children are creators. The elderly are creators. The absolute tribes, people on every realm, on every creed, they're all creators. Divine feminine, we're creators. And we're going to create new stories. We're going to create new inspirations and everyone will have the rights and everyone will have balance and everyone will have fairness because you know why? If for no other reason, once again, because you love yourself so much so when you're devoted to feeling better. I commit yourself. I commit myself to feeling better. I just want to feel better. I know there's activations going on within me. And you do those little clearings and those sweeping up every day and spirit will match, match you. Spirit will meet you there. But you got to say, well, I'm, I'm ready now. I want to feel better. That's what awakening is all about. 
tune in. How am I feeling? How am I feeling? How am I feeling? How can I want to feel? How do I really want to feel? How do I want to help others inspire themselves to feel? Now that I've got my alignment, I want to help others. What are my gifts, Spirit? What DNA activation can you help me with, Spirit? Because I absolutely know that my DNA activation helps all children, helps all future generations. Make no mistake about that. We're in a spiral of now. Any activation that you call upon yourself, any change of routine that you have upon yourself, any new gentle speak that you have of yourself, any loving self-honor you have of yourself changes the all. And your ripple of now, what's coming back to you in the next moment is going to be different because you've changed that locational vibration. You're choosing a vibration of location that is peace, love, joy, happiness. I'm going to say my name with happiness today. And you're sending out that vibration that returns to you in that way. You get people coming into you say, wow, I'm excited to be with you. That's so awesome. I feel your vibration. I'm connected. I'm, I'm on with you there. I'm on that, I'm on that vibrational space with you. See what we're saying? It's all vibrational. So what are you sending out? What kind of change do you want? Those, those energies and those wisdoms and anything that is for you and meant for you is absolutely going to come and show you. And spirit will say, these are your gifts. Are you going to use it? Are you using what is meant to be unpacked and used by you? That only the way that you can. The, the uniqueness, the, gem, the, the genuine qualities that only you have, how you authenticate yourself, how you embrace who you are, how you radically accept yourself in all of your shadow moments, in all of your light moments, in all your moments in between, and you accept all others for their, pla for their place and path too, because you know that they are a part of the all. There's not one person on this web that is not included and necessary. This might have a really wonderful dream of wake up happy and ripple to here and ripple to there and ripple to there. Your action of saying, hi, I love you. And let's, let's just create, you know, a, a clean slate and let's just put all of our grievances aside. Let's create forgiveness. It ripples here, here and here and here and here. And all of the lifetimes that you belong to, all of a sudden you've cleared the way for you. That's why we're here. We're here to create beyond the mental body. We're here to drop to our hearts and let spirit take over. And in that, our mental body will just align. And those mental aptitudes and those mental rewirings will just automatically take place. The mental body is not the driver. Never was and never will be. And can only keep you in those same routines. That's why there's so many that are finding challenges of getting out of the mental programs, the mental cycles. You can get out. You're meant to. You're absolutely meant to. You're born to. You're built to. You're coded to. Absolutely. Don't ever underestimate who you are. <laughs> Never underestimate it. And we're going to make it happen. We're bringing it forward. So we're going to do some sounds and some tones. We're calling into the light councils and all of our multidimensional beings. We're going to pull one of my 5D cards and one of my new cards, actually. I've got this beautiful deck. And see into the portals that you can create. Now take a deep, full body breath. And just center yourself and honor yourself and because we want to we're going to create some sounds and some tones and some light language to honor you just look at this um, vision of this portal and there's portals available to you in any moment that you align and say i'm going to create a portal and i'm going to walk through it i get to choose i'm going to give myself permission to walk through something new today and i'm going to catalyze my own change thought word deed and all that i am as a beingness of fullness because i'm one with spirit the unseen is all me and i want to create something different i'm going to create my body i'm going to create my thought patterns i'm going to create a new world if you can, release the word pattern and have it all together. I'm going to create new high vibrational thoughts and they're going to take me wherever my creativity and my spirit, my essence want to take me. Leave it open. Let spirit guide you. And feel into the different worlds that you belong to. Feel into the higher vibrational experiences that you always are and always have been. Now you're giving yourself permission. I'm going to give myself permission to be as expansive as I can today because I am, because I always will be. Why did I want to believe that I was so small and why was I okay with receiving nothing? Why was I okay with receiving very little? Why was I okay with receiving the same patterns that says I was small and unimportant? Why was I okay with that? And start sorting out that self-value and that self-love. You're meant to feel important. You're meant to receive. Spirit would never put you on a planet in creation, ever, ever. The adoration spirit has for all aspects of life. And I see and I feel the adoration that spirit has, God has. I feel it in only the ways that humans can explain it. It's far beyond that. Of course, no one ever no human could ever interpret any vibration that God is for the life of all life. You are breathed within the pure adoration and excitement of joy just to be you. So if you're not joyful being you, that's missing the primary vibrational core value of what manifestation is all about. And why those experiences will really see everything in our reality change. All that is not of integrity, all that is not in joy, all that is not in alignment, will shift and break 
and that's just alignment of of the plan of light <laughs> the light is all about the joy of who you are if you're not in joy of who you are there's going to be tower moment after tower moment until you go within and create that permission of self-love if for no other reason to love yourself and feel good about who you are and say your name with pride and honor you did the best you could with what you had and now you have a chance to change it now you have a chance to turn it now you have a chance to make something really really great happen for you because when you make it happen for you you make it happen for all others in consideration of all others that is oneness that your choices affect others, your words affect others. So create something that really sounds profound in the alignment of who you are as joy. Am I bringing myself joy when I say this? Am I feeling of joy when I do this? Am I feeling of joy for all others when I am this? We're all in those stuck moments where we're in release and we're flipping ourselves off and everybody else off. <laughs> we all have those moments, but then you gotta recollect yourself and say, you know, I, I, I'm taking responsibility. I gotta take responsibility for how I feel because I'm creating my reality. Nobody's in charge of me. Nobody's entitled to my life or my destiny. I've got to make it happen. And you, tell, you pull yourselves out of those really dark moments because you know that deep down, spirit is saying you're worthy of so much. You're worthy. Why would I put you there not worthy of being happy? Why would I place anyone on that planet and not be worthy of the abundance that you're meant to receive? Why would you only be on a planet where you're always meant to work and give out? Where's the balance in that? It, it's, it does, it's not logical. Spirit is always simply logical. You're meant to be of joy. That's creation. Galaxies, galaxies, galaxies. And so I am. <laughs> Is there any other way? <laughs> and we got to get there. We got to get ourselves there out of the dense fear mongering programming that we've all been steeped within for thousands of years now we're meant to say every person on this planet is meant to be a creator every person on this planet is meant to have a unique story about them written and shared and loved honored all the way colored all the way painted all the way sung all the way step out of the box and be authentic and share yourself honor yourself be thankful of yourself be thanksgiving of yourself and all others be that vibration of love the two <clears throat> vibration it's all about vibration 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 so thank you. Those are a collective of, um, of um, beings, Cassiopeia. Thank you. Um, beings from the Cassiopeian um, star system. They were showing me that they're so happy to see the... Um, the firm um, acknowledgement. When you go through those shaky moments and not knowing who you are and feeling lost, and then you start rebuilding yourself and continue the rebuilding of yourself through love and taking care of yourself and honoring yourself and giving yourself lots of time and, and um, preciousness to yourself and loving yourself and rebuilding those parts that were destructed, <laughs> you know, deconstructed um, in various tower moments and knowing who you are through those releases, you got to rebuild in such an authentic, more firm and genuine way. And they were just saying that we're happy to see you now in more um, um, certain, more precise happiness of who you are that we always have been for you and of you. They're in such joy of who we are, of going through such tremendous challenges of who we are to break such steeped mental experiences. And that show us, well, this is my reality, so this must be who I am. And this is what's reverberated back to me. Well, no, that's just because your core vibration is saying that's just who I'm always going to be. you got to change that core vibration. And then you got to be in joy of it and start feeding it and nourishing that vibration. It's like that beautiful little seed that just is growing. you got to nourish it. you got to tend to it. you got to cultivate it. you got to cultivate you. You're in the womb all the time. You're constantly in the womb of God. Constantly. And you got to break free saying, okay, God, I'm ready for a new activation. Bring it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I say my name with passion. And at the end of your day, so be it, as if you were writing your own obituary or at the end of your life, did you live passionately? Did you live with joy? Did you live in honor of your name? Did you live in honor of your name so that all others, when they know you say, yeah, I had a great life and I made it right in the best way I could. I'm making it right with me right now. I'm making it right with God. I'm making it right with creation. And I want to live in a great way. I want to make it work. I want to make it work. And I'm going to do what I can to make it right for me. When you make it right with you, you're knowing that those energies don't fit you anymore, those routines don't fit with you anymore, those behaviors, those responses to behaviors and how others treat you because you're generating that behavior and that belief, you step out and say, no, I'm worthy of a higher vibrating belief. I'm worthy. I'm worthy to receive. I'm worthy of my creatorhood. I'm worthy of my vibration. I will say my name with pride. Hallelujah, I'm here. 
step up. <laughs> and the door opens. <laughs> oh, oh, this is funny. These are the two cards I <laughs> these are the two cards I pulled this morning. Big picture thinking and starkeeper. So Starkeeper is about the cosmic ancestry. So activating that cosmic ancestry, because you know you are, you know, you always have been. You've got your ancestors with you at all times. Seed the light by staying grounded and grounding yourself with Gaia and feeling into the biosphere and all that Gaia offers is profound and honoring in how we move about our intuitive experiences. Big, big picture thinking, the Pleiades energy and the visionary to see into worlds and to see in the unseen. Everybody is a visionary if they choose to be. Where, what, what doorway of conformity do you want to see through? Just an offering. Conformity and social conformity and social norms and social routines and social limitations and social lack and social fear. It's just an offering. You don't have to engage with it. You don't have to partake in it. You don't have to play in it. You don't have to write the story with it. Walk through the door and create a new reality. You don't have to partake in social conformity or roles or limitations or intentions or beliefs that hold you small. Allow others their path of discovery so that you can have your path of discovery without judgment. That's oneness. To allow all their unique path without judgment and honor it all because it's allowing you your unique perspective to say, yeah, I was there a week ago. I honor you. It's not an easy ride. It's not, but you can do it. You're absolutely here. Everybody in creation, everybody that is here is meant to be a part of these fantastic, incredible energies. And we're meant to create with them, not just sit by and sit in the routine and wait for something to happen. We're meant to create with them. So what are you excited to create? Oh, I love this. My bird family. Thank you. The avians. Thank you. I love my Pleiadian bird family. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. They come through today as an offering for me. Thank you. Is there, let's see if we have a collective message from the birds. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> and so the first thing that they're saying is that our construction of our reality is simply the freedom of flight and the freedom of um, knowing that the infinite skies are available to us. And we only spend as much time in our nests, if you will, to create in the way that we need to. Otherwise, we are out soaring and exploring. We prefer no confines. We prefer to, to know that we are our scent and we are on and we are the deliverance of all the winds that spirit offers. And we ride with that gently, purposefully in our knowing. We allow ourselves to see ourselves in the highest of places and weave our way in and out of matter, material, preciousness of all that is life as we soar in all ways and why all collectives of birds have unique wisdoms and intelligences to show you that flight is, soaring is, your perpetuation is, and can be, if you so choose, <laughs> like the joyful birds in the sky, we always see and I always wonder and ponder at them so often. I mean, they're just like the little delicate beings that just whip in and out of place. They're enjoyment. There's not a, there's not a sad bone inside of there. They're not sad. They were whipping in and out and they're working with each other. They're working with that synchronistic wind. They're working with the synchronistic movement of their intentions. They're in very intuitive beings. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they're not worried about following programs <laughs> the lightness of song and joy the embracing of the air yeah all of the air qualities pleiadians the pleiadian bird family and many of the avians that come from orion and lyra and they're also connected with song and sacred light language the freedom liberation taking flight the birds you know symbolize freedom and flight and taking yourself to new levels and embracing yourself with confidence and allowing yourself um, one of the main energy vibrations of the bird family is self-honor. Are you honoring your name and then soaring with it? And so be in love with it, embrace it fully and completely. Give yourself permission to embrace who you are and be okay not, not wanting to feel small. You can still okay you have those moments, but then you pick up and say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. That small is a part of my story, but I wanna feel beautiful and sacred and special and honored and I accept myself in it all. Right? There's no exclusion in any of it. But you're meant to be joyful. You're meant to be happy. You're meant to be abundant. You're meant to be creative. You're meant to be ecstatic about you. You're meant to be. 
So open up and receive, dear lighted ones. Thank you, Holy Mother and Father. We're calling in the highest benevolence of the highest co-creators of love and light and of sound and of sacredness of the earth and of the heavens as we co-create in the light and the love of who we are as sacred beings of co-creatorhood on 5D earth, that all beings are creative, all beings are sacred, and we thank the Holy Spirit of all that is across all lands, across all creation, across all realms, across all universes, for we are a part of it all in sacred breath and in sacred oneness. We are that we are. And you can just simply affirm, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. I'm ready to inspire anew. I am ready to inspire anew. I am part of a new song. I am part of new joy. I am part of the acceptance of who I am. I am you. the brightening <laughs> it's so funny commercial about brightening thank you spirit new york to ryan so there's lots of third eye stuff that i'm seeing right now um and those activations just decalcifying the third eye and so they're saying that part of the third eye is that you've taken on programs of your own belief system so this is just a really quick message of um, tools and wisdoms of your multi-dimensionality your third eye as well as any other chakra any other system that you have within you is um is made created um, through your beliefs so if you believe that you cannot see a beautiful world if you believe that you're not meant to see yourself as a beautiful piece person and being of the beautiful world if you're challenging yourself to um, break conformity but can't yet see beyond anything that is a part of your seeing world start reaffirming to yourself every day i can see beyond i do see the unseen i see myself in pure health i see myself as a multi-dimensional being i see myself in the infinite i have the infinite live through me and i see it i see the blessings that is spirit in all things so clarify the third eye clarify how you choose to see your new self in this new world choose to see how your third eye in your fifth dimension moves and lives with you and embraces you as the song of you practice with your third eye dear lighted ones have fun with it what is your third eye showing you about who your name is and what that name vibration is so fun so very fun and you get to choose what your third eye means for you and how you see yourself in new versions how you see yourself in new co-creations how you see yourself in new bodies of health and wellness for your planet for the all see all as the light of god for all is see all as the song of spirit for all is for all that is unseen is just waiting for you to see it do you see In great reverence, the light of God is all. I am I indicate. I am I D. <laughs> I am in honor of all of you. Thank you so much, dear lighted ones. I'm so happy and so grateful. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm so grateful for those of you that would like to donate. Our links are below and we wish you so many, many blessings to create your world in a brand new way and see yourself as love and see yourself as great and feel your name in the vibration of a 5D experience in all multidimensional ways. Get used to being creative, get used to being authentic, get used to being out of the box, get used to taking yourself outside of anything that is routine. Create that change. You are the catalyst. You and spirit always thread it as one. Your Technicolor dream coat is waiting for you to put it on and try it on and dance with it and be creative and be new in all moments. Thank you, dear lighting ones. We love you. Have a great day. Bye.